Cherry Automobile, alongside AIMOGA, has unveiled their latest robotics initiative with the introduction of More9, an intelligent bipedal robot. More9 made its global debut at the company's ecological press conference on April 30, 2024, showcasing impressive capabilities driven by an advanced dynamic response control algorithm. It excels in walking, arm grasping, waist twisting, head shaking, and communication. AIMOGA, leveraging their expertise in autonomous driving, human-machine interaction, machine vision, and AI, gains a significant advantage in the robotics field. More9 stands out as the pioneering robot featuring a highly bionic gait mechanism powered by mainstream electric drive technology. Its sleek design incorporates bionic silicone, lightweight alloys, and cutting-edge materials, providing a realistic tactile experience and a robust mechanical structure that aligns with AMOGA's futuristic vision for digital beings. Equipped with advanced language models integrated into its robotics technology, More9 harnesses these capabilities to effectively understand and generate language. This feature enables More9 to accurately interpret verbal or written commands from humans and translate them into specific action strategies. Three students John Ayag Benny John, Stephen Aday and Charles Loiki Charles, from Atakunal Ajason University in Nigeria have developed a robotic dog with black fur, aiming to enhance home security. This innovative creation responds to both sound and motion by emitting barking sounds. Additionally, the dog is equipped with a camera mounted on its chest allowing the owner to monitor the triggers that set it off. The robotic dog operates on motion sensors, enabling it to swiftly react to potential threats in its vicinity, ensuring the safety of its owner without exposing them to any risks. This feature is aptly referred to as the eyes of the dog, as it translates the dog's movements into actionable signals through its motion sensors. Moreover, upon sensing motion or sound, the dog activates the camera and alerts the owner mimicking the behavior of a real dog that barks to signal unusual movements or noises in its surroundings. A group of schoolgirls from federal government girls' college Sagamu have created a remarkable robot named Okiki La Sagamu, affectionately known as Kiki Sagi, using artificial intelligence and machine learning. The team, comprising 10 students from both junior and senior classes along with a few staff members, dedicated seven months to the project. Standing at 6 feet tall and weighing 60 kilograms, Kiki Sagi possesses the ability to walk, talk, and gesture. During the development process, the team encountered various challenges including technical, financial, software, and hardware issues. However, their perseverance in overcoming these obstacles resulted in invaluable learning experiences and successful outcomes. Kiki Sagi boasts impressive features such as a maximum speed of 10 kilometers per hour, an integrated camera, microphone, and advanced capabilities like facial recognition. Notably, it utilizes Google Assistant for answering questions and engaging in conversations. The ultimate aim is for Kiki Sagi to perform these functions independently, without relying on third party applications like Google Assistant. The Grootshire Hospital in Cape Town, South Africa, has achieved a significant milestone as the first state hospital in Africa to conduct robotic-assisted surgery. This achievement follows the introduction of the advanced Da Vinci XI surgical robot. With its four arms, the robot assists surgeons in performing complex surgeries with less invasiveness and in shorter durations. Dr. Samkiel Salakazana, the robotic surgery coordinator at Groot Shur Hospital, highlighted the capabilities of the robot, emphasizing its ability to maneuver nearly 360 degrees, a feat impossible with traditional laparoscopy. Robotic surgery offers surgeons enhanced vision, magnification, clear anatomical visualization, and easier dissection due to its extensive range of movement. Kenyan investors David Gathu and Moses Kinyua have developed a biorobotic arm controlled by brain signals. These signals are captured and converted into electrical currents using a neuronode biopotential headset receiver. The currents then power the robot's circuitry, enabling the arm to move both vertically and horizontally. Constructed from recycled wood and other materials, the arm facilitates easier operation for individuals with disabilities. The upper limb biorobotic prosthetic uses brain signals to control hand movements according to the user's intentions.
Elbow, level, Y, axis, articulation. System initiated. Wrist, level, ulna at radius, Y, axis, sequential testing. Kenya, with over a million people living with disabilities, many due to accidents or polio, stands to benefit significantly from this innovation. It is anticipated that this prosthetic arm could transform societal acceptance and mobility for people with disabilities. Motivated by the challenges they witnessed firsthand in their communities, Gathu and Kinua pursued the project despite having to leave university due to financial constraints after completing secondary education. They self-taught the necessary skills to develop the arm. David Jichamu, who heads the Rehabilitation Clinic at Association for the Physically Disabled of Kenya or simply APDK, believes that this biorobotic arm has the potential to revolutionize prosthetics globally and aid in the rehabilitation of individuals who have lost limb function. Omif, the world's first African humanoid robot, was developed by a team of engineers and programmers at the University of Nigeria, Nsaka. Their objective was to create a robot capable of assisting with household chores, as well as providing healthcare and educational support. Standing at approximately 4 feet tall and weighing around 60 pounds, Omif has a child-sized frame with dark skin and curly hair. She is equipped with sensors and actuators that enable her to interact dynamically with her surroundings. Crafted from recycled materials, including old car parts and electronic waste, Omif stands as a testament to innovation with limited resources. She features two arms, two legs, and a head adorned with a solar panel. Capable of expressing emotions through her facial features, Omif speaks both English and Igbo, a prominent language in Nigeria. She can connect to the internet and other devices via Wi-Fi, facilitating seamless communication and access to information. Omif boasts several impressive capabilities, such as picking up objects weighing up to 5 pounds, navigating environments by detecting obstacles with her sensors, and even measuring blood pressure using sensors in her hands. Additionally, she can provide voice-guided directions, interpret facial expressions to gauge emotions, and offer healthcare information and advice to users. Her creators hope that Omif will inspire young Africans to pursue careers in science and technology showcasing the potential of indigenous innovation in robotics and AI. Mark represents African promise and is a powerful symbol of strength, resilience, and beauty. In 2020, Abdul Malik Tejansi, an innovator from Sierra Leone and co-founder of the African School of Technology in South Africa, introduced the first humanoid robot in his country. This robot, entirely 3D printed and assembled locally in South Africa, was completed on July 5 and publicly unveiled on July 8 during the 5th Anniversary Gala Dinner of the African School of Technology. It is equipped with advanced features including speech capabilities and utilizes artificial intelligence technology. Hello, Sahabona. Dumelang fellow South Africans, I am the first humanoid robot built in South Africa. Students at Glisten International Academy in Abuja, Nigeria, have developed a versatile robot aimed at aiding in remote treatment of COVID-19 patients and potentially other infectious diseases. Named My Robot, it can dispense medicines, monitor temperatures, and facilitate webcam-based patient communication. Although it currently struggles with tasks like opening doors, the robot has garnered support from healthcare professionals for its potential to reduce contact time between workers and patients. Teacher David, overseeing the robotics team, anticipates further enhancements to achieve international standards and eventual commercial viability.